Huh. Look at this. Oh, God. Oh, my God. They snuck up on me. Oh, they murdered me. They straight up murdered me. Oh, and they're just brutalizing me. Oh, shoot. No, it's one of these games. There's no autosave. Is there? Oh, oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Please be an autosave. Yeah. Oh, damn it. There's an autosave, but it's really far back from where I was. Damn it. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we are checking out the hugely influential action first-person shooter survival horror game known as System Shock 2. For those of you who don't know, this game is going to kind of be a mix of things like Half-Life, where it sort of has that survival horror element to it. Although Half-Life isn't entirely survival horror, it is more of an action game, but there, there's some scary parts to Half-Life. But games like Deus Ex, um, the developer of this game would later go on to create Bioshock, so if you're familiar with that game, you're going to be getting a similar experience here. And I'm actually really excited. Uh, everything I've read about this game makes me believe I'm really going to enjoy it, and I can't believe I've never played this before. So let's go ahead and hop in. We have the Tri Optimum Corporate Network. Ugh, look at this corporate logo. It just looks evil with the ones and zeros nefariously scrolling down across it. Let's go ahead and hop in and try this game out. We're going to be playing on normal because, uh, I don't know, because uh, because I say so. I've already checked out the options, so we should be good. Let's go ahead and start the game skis. And here we are in the world of System Shock. We have woken up in an apocalyptic Welcome future. Welcome to the Ramsey Center UNN Recruitment Facility. Please watch your step when leaving the train. The grab shafts at the end of the hall will take you to the street level training and recruitment center. Please proceed to the grab shafts. So are you already getting a Half-Life kind of experience or what? Like we came in, we arrived on a train. I guess for some reason we kind of skipped the intro video. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we got this this very detailed environment going on here. Oh, I hope we can go in the grates later. I hope we can go in the grates later. The controls are a little weird. It doesn't use WASD. It uses Q and E to go left and right, but W still goes forward. And it's like X goes backwards. That's kind of weird. Hopefully I'll get used to it. But you can like lean forward and you can like lean to the left and lean to the right. I don't know. Uh, we need to clean up here. Somebody just literally, that is the laziest way to throw out a coffee and three cigarettes. Just by dumping it on the floor and kicking over the garbage so can the as you do it. To proceed to the street level recruitment. Okay, let's go street level recruitment. I am loving the sci-fi. Wait, did I go in the wrong one here? Oh, there we go. We're going up. This is like those tubes in Futurama that transport you places. Oh, man, this is so cool. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I love when they, I don't know why, but it's like, it seems so futuristic when they throw like Chinese or Japanese uh, writing, or maybe this is Korean. I don't really know my uh, sort of East Asian languages. But when they throw that kind of stuff into the future, it just makes it seem more future-like, more cyberpunky. Oh, there's a woman in there. Let's see. Maybe we can go in there. The controls are really kind of screwing me up, actually. I wonder if I could switch it to W, A, S, and D. Because, uh, cause, yeah. I don't, know. I don't know what's going on in there. Seems like the most boring conversation ever. They're, they're kind of just staring at each other. Have you ever invited someone over? Like, you're trying to have a party, and you invite a bunch of people over, and one person arrives, and you have nothing to say to them, so you both just kind of stand there staring at each other awkwardly? That's what's happening in that in that room that we saw back there. Uh, those two, those two people were just kind of waiting for the rest of the party to arrive because they didn't really know each career, other. You'll want to learn some basic abilities. I First, will want to learn some basic, basic training. Center. Ooh, okay. Basic training. Proceed to the training. training area. Now, see, here's where I'm a little torn because I do want to train myself in how to play this game, but I know the coolest stuff training. is all going to happen after I've courses. trained. We provide you with so you a know what? Cyber interface. You know this what? Training interface is identical to an I'm going to edit out this training so we can interface. get to the game. Alrighty, we have officially been trained. After you get trained, you get to select whether you want to be a soldier, a hacker, or a psionic warrior. I decided to go with hacker because I figured that's most appropriate given my proclivity for old retro hardware and video games. Uh, and so here we are. We are now in a space station. I guess there's my pal. He's observing me as I've just arrived here. Um, there's all this cool stuff. I guess I can't interact with any of this right now. I'm loving the environments though. Isn't this really cool? Year one. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, like, look look at how detailed this world is. This is really cool. This is like Deus Ex in space so far. I'm very impressed. Nothing has happened happened yet. The I've OSA literally just been you getting trained. Station Chun -Lo. Ready Orville yourself Station Chun -Lo. to feel the limitations of your mind slipping away. Ooh, I like that. We will guide your path over the next four years. The Good. shuttle base at the center <laughs> of the station will ferry you to your next stage of growth. When you've chosen, hmm. head into the appropriate shuttle. Sounds a little like uh, deep and dark and like evil future corporation, which I also love. So cyberpunk, man, this game's so cool. Um, so what happened in the training? They basically showed me how to like pick up objects, open doors, do all that stuff. The TOS they uh, basically were just kind of like showing me how to actually control the game. And so I figure that's not something that you guys would really want to watch. I can, I don't know, I can put it up somewhere if people are really curious. But uh, oh, wait, I totally skipped that. <laughs> I thought that was just like a loading screen. Okay. So uh, I did something in there. Something happened to me. Telepathic interrogation. Oh, okay. Oh my. Do I get to choose these things? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Do I have more than one option? Because I don't want to just go necessarily be like all psionically trained. I kind of want to get trained by weapons too. Because that would be very handy, I think. Can I go in here? No. Okay, maybe I do have to just go in there. Now, once this game actually hits... Once we actually get to some of the more action-y parts of this game, I have a feeling we are going to get very scared, guys. This is a survival horror-style game, as I was saying. I don't want to spoil kind of what the horror is, but let's go ahead and actually read this one. Okay, your time of service on the uh, Keylon has reached its end. Maintaining patience for a year under emotional doctor should... Oh, God. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name. Patronage was difficult. However, careful observation of his technique and a careful illicit examination notebooks have led you better understanding of the process. You've gained one research. Okay, year three. Years are just flying by, guys. We've been we've been in this ship for three years, hanging around this hallway. I don't even have a bedroom. I walk down this hall. Something happens for an entire year, and then I just appear back over here. I'm not. And there's like no one else on this Many ship. It feels very isolating. Security, which actually is something I've read about this game. Inside. Uh, that there's supposed to be a, a good sense of isolation in this game. Okay, blah, blah, blah. I master new skills. And now, year four has commenced. Watch out. I'm getting what the hell is happening? Radar dish outside the window. What the hell? <gasps> Holy shit. Move! Take cover! Oh, man. When you wake up on a space station, or a spaceship after four years of being here, um, and you find corpses and such that is not good okay let's go ahead and equip a wrench like totally like totally half-life-ish right because like what's the first weapon you get in half-life crowbar right we got a wrench <laughs> slunk slunk does this do anything it's blinking in inhalation hazard oh okay uh let's get out of here um here's here's my guess we got to go up here see and good thing I was trained on how to use ladders because I climbed that like a like a pro. Can we smash these? Now I guess it's not advanced enough for that. He has kind of a slow swing. Very deliberate swing. Oh god, oh my god, what's happening? What's happening? Oh man. Okay. I can do that. I can do that, ma'am. I do not want to get sucked into space. It is on my list of do not do's. What is this? Cryogenics ass access required. Oh, good thing the keycard was just lying in front of this locked door. How many times do you reach a door in real life where, like, you need to get in? You're like, oh, man, it's locked, and, like, literally sitting right in front of the door is a key. I feel like it's not not very realistic, but, hey, I'm going to go with it. Oh, look, oh, man, that guy's foot got twisted real bad. I guess he's also dead. He's been brutalized, but I was fixated on the foot. Um... <laughs> Go ahead. We just got uh, PDA. So like Bioshock, you can look up, uh, you get emails and voice recordings. And if you listen to these, it will fill you in on some of the dark backstory. I'm going to keep focusing on how to get out of here. Oh, wait. I think he just told me the, the passcode. Damn it. Where was it? It's in here. Uh, notes. Emails. Logs. This guy? Great. Four five one zero zero. Okay, you know what? It, it, it would have been good to listen to him there. I like also how all these key coat, these uh, keypads, they have this little hack button, like literally sitting right beside it. Uh, I guess I can't hack this yet, but in the training, it was pretty funny. Um, you know, if you don't want people to hack your key door, maybe don't put a hack button. Oh my God, someone's screaming. What is she running from? 
What the hell? What the? Oh, God. He's been infected by something. Sir, do you want to go to the medical station? I don't think he could hear me. Okay. One thing they did not train me how to do is duck. So let's see if I can figure this out. Uh, there we go. It was the control key all this time. Can't go in there. Um, one thing I will say is, although this game is complex with lots going on, first of all, I feel like the training really showed me what kind of buttons I need to be using here. And second of all, it's pretty damn intuitive beyond that. So, so far, I'm really enjoying this game, both in terms of the controls and, oh, with the smoke in my face, and the atmosphere. I have yet to actually encounter any bad guys, but I kind of feel like I'm okay with that because eventually I will start encountering them, and then I will probably wish I, I did not... I have to encounter them as much as I want. Will recharge all the power-driven devices in your possession. Okay. After you've recharged the cell, plug it into the auxiliary power unit. Got it. Look how intuitive that was! They didn't even train me how to do that. They didn't train me how to insert a battery in there. Okay. Thank you. I've just uploaded you some cybernetic modules. You can use them to upgrade your cybernetic rig at the upgrade units in this area. Oh, how nice of you. There are four types of units in the next room. One for each is that a light switch? Your cybernetic gear. Stats, size, totally is. That's awesome. Tech. But use the modules carefully. They're hard to come by. She's like going on and on about like upgrading. Which way am I supposed to go here? Um, you know, if there's one thing I've learned from Bioshock, it's that you shouldn't necessarily trust a random voice that just happens to be on your communicator. Because that may not necessarily be somebody who has your best interests in mind. Like, who is this woman who's communicating with me? I have no idea. I... And I think, like, that's supposed to be part of it. That's part of the game, man. You're not supposed to necessarily know. Oh, okay, this, this loops around. Uh, what's over here? Psy upgrade unit. I don't, I don't necessarily want to do that. What is this? The stats upgrade unit. The tech upgrade unit. Or the weapons. Let's upgrade my tech, because I would like a basic hacking ability. Um, what? I don't have enough cyber mo modules. How many do I have? Do I have any? What is this? I have four. Okay, I'm going to save up ten, because I would like to do some basic hacking. I'd like to be able to show you guys some basic hacking, at least. Um, oh, shit. Look at that. Oh, we can search them from here. <laughs> We're just, like, reaching our hand through that doorway. Uh, searching corpse. Okay, we're encountering a lot of corpses here. Uh, now, when they were developing this game, they actually... Oh, I could have just walked in here. Oh, well. That's, that's the sucker's way of doing things. Got a box here we'll search. When they were actually developing this game, they intentionally didn't want it to just feel like Doom. So one of the reasons they included more RPG elements and stuff was to kind of differentiate it from Doom and make it not just, uh, you know, a, a, a sci-fi horror kind of shooter game. Oh, crap. Can we hack? Probably can't hack. Uh, there must be a key code around here somewhere. Is it here? But they put it like in the information booth right by the door. Blah, 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 blah. Wait, I wonder if it's the same code that we used before. 45100, right? Nothing. We just smash it? I, one thing I know about sci-fi is that if you just smash a computer console that's right near a door, it will do the thing you want it to do, which either means it will lock it or it will unlock it. Right? Because in, in sci-fi... Oh, what's this? I think that might have the information we need. Let's check it out. Hey, Doc. A security bot blah, showed blah, up blah. for me to place this grunt into the recovery freezer. I'm no cyber doc, but I know a plant job when I see one. I suppose you know they outlawed our grade cyber goodies after that hmm. fiasco. Okay, that does not help me get into this door. How do I get into this door? Um, as I was saying, in sci-fi movie and stuff, though, you know, when characters reach a point where they want the door to be locked, they can uh, press a button, or, or sorry, shoot the controls, and the door will remain locked. In other cases where they want it to open, they can shoot the controls, and the door will open. It's most handy. Most handy. Okay, I guess we are carrying forward. What the hell is this? Oh, we have two psionic. So one thing that's kind of cool about this game is that all of your items naturally decay and break with time. So, like, when I find guns and stuff, they'll so slowly break down. Oh, what the hell am I looking at? I can't find my card. Please. What the fuck is this? What the hell is this, guys? I literally saw a ghost. I saw a space ghost. I saw a space ghost. Uh, it's kind of terrifying, actually. 
You know, you hear a lot about space ghosts, but when you actually see one, what did that do? What did that do? A two-state button. I, uh, what state should it be in? I don't even know. Okay, I'm just going to press it one more time. It's got to be useful for something, right? What do we got going on in here? What is this? A piece of debris. Oh, it's nothing. I'm like, oh god, what is that? What is this? A tentacle? It's nothing. Okay, so a lot of exploring so far. Um, oh, what was that? Was that, whoa, growth patterns. Okay, we, we got some kind of infection problem going on here, guys. And I don't feel good about it. I do not feel safe. I feel like this, the evil space company doesn't have my best space interests in mind. And I feel a little bit like that guy in, oh, now that opens. Well what the hell is that? There's a dude over there. Oh! Oh god! Oh, that legitimately scared me. Back off, bro. Back off. Oh my god. <sighs> what the hell is that? Oh god, a can of cola. He's walking around with a can of cola in his pocket. Oh, oh, oh shit. <laughs> okay, get, get back. Oh, 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 go away, go away, go away, go away. Oh man. My idea of combat is just violently swinging at the guys. An unresearched object. Okay, this is a really cool aspect of the game. As you kill enemies, you can like harvest their organs and stuff and go to research stations in the ship and you can actually research and not only learn more about them, but how to kill them. That is some cool stuff. That reminds me of like XCOM. Um, another thing is, I'm just gonna spoil the surprise a bit with what these guys are infected with. They're infected by some kind of weird alien parasite that makes them like these vicious zombie people. Like it takes over your mind and makes you do stuff, but you don't actually forget who you are. So one of the creepiest things I have heard in this game is that you will see these guys running at you, all violent and stuff, and they'll be screaming things like, I'm sorry, or like, please kill me. Like that, that is almost creepier to me than a zombie. I don't know what I just did. Um, because, you know, at least with a zombie, it's like a human who's dead, who's come back, and they're infected with something that's bringing them back. That's, that's freaky. That's definitely freaky. But, like, their mind is gone. They're just like a mindless zombie, essentially, right? That's what a zombie is. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, a security system is going off. Destroy security cameras? How am I supposed to do that? I can't hack the computers. I oh oh jackpot. you can find the resources you need to research the artifacts you'll find Jack. the ship. Hot baby. Okay. It's impractical and unnecessary. Your research software will tell you what chemicals huh. it needs. Look at this. And when. Oh god! Oh my god! They snuck up on me! Oh and they murdered me! They straight up murdered me. Oh, and they're just brutalizing me. Oh shoot! No, it's one of these games. There's no autosave. Is there? Oh, oh wait. Oh, oh, oh. Please be an autosave. Yeah! Oh, damn it. There's an autosave, but it's really far back from where I was. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. So I could save whenever I want. And I wasn't saving. Damn it. Anyway, as I was saying, those guys who were infected... They're infected by this parasite that like leaves them with some conscious awareness, but no conscious control. And that, to me, my friends, seems freaky. The idea that your body would be out there, essentially you're a functional zombie, but at the same time, like you're aware of what's happening and you can still talk. That's, that'd be terrifying. That would be terrifying, man. Um, but I'm not gonna make you guys watch me getting back to where we were. I'm just going to go ahead and cut it so we can get right back to the horrifying zombie action. And I will remember to save my game this time around. I will remember to save my game. Please, let me out of here. Oh god, that's terrifying. Okay, we've more or less recovered to where we were. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save in just a minute here so that we do not have to come back. Science sector access card picked up. Oh man, okay, this is where all the bad stuff started to happen. So we're gonna go ahead and use our ability to break through the fourth wall and go ahead and save this baby. And now let's go and brutalize some, some poor souls who've been infected by some kind of weird, weird parasite thing here. Oh man, 
My heart's racing a little bit here. Oh, here he comes. Die, 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 die. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop hitting us, dude. Just go down. Holy crap. Okay, what do you got on you? He had coke or something. Oh, different stuff this time. All right. You can tell, like, when, as soon as the music changed that, like, some more intense action is going to go on here. Oh, my God. Where where are these guys? Where are they? This also kind of reminds me of, la uh, what is it? The Last of Us? I think it's The Last of Us. The one with uh, Ellie and uh, Joel. The one on the PS4. Because they had sort of creepy, uh, like, zombies in that game, too. There's all, it's interesting how there's all sorts of different variations of, like, zombies. Oh, did you hear that? He said, I'm sorry. Oh, man. <laughs> Freaking creepy, man. Uh, med. I, we could use some medical support here. I wonder if we're going to encounter any other survivors. What is this? Wait. Swine Keeper? It's like Mine Keeper? A game player. Can we use this? Can we, can we totally use this? Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. oh, oh god. I couldn't get out of the inventory fast enough. Alright. So, note to self, when you're caught in a futuristic medical center infested with weird space zombies, don't stop to try to play a retro video game. I was trying to play, like, some space minekeeper game. Oh god. Die, die, die! Go down! These guys totally do also remind me of the guys from uh, Bioshock, by the way. So in Bioshock as well, it's like all the civilians who are in this, like, area are like, uh... They're not zombies, but they're like messed up. They're definitely messed up. All right, come here, buddy. Give me everything you got. We we should also use like a, a med. Oh God! Oh 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 oh! Okay, I could hear him talking. I could hear him talking. We we need to use a hypo spray. Is basically what I'm saying here. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh God! They do nothing. They heal like nothing. Um, we're in some we're in bad shape. Okay, come on. Quantum bio reconstruction device. What does that do? Shut them all down, but I've discreetly put them back online. You'll need to interface with each machine locally to provide a quantum entanglement sample. What does that Once mean? You do that, the device will be able to rebuild your body essentially from scratch. It's okay. not pleasant. Okay. It's preferable to slow decomposition. Are we talking about a save point? Did you just describe some kind of futuristic sci-fi save point? As if so, I'm totally in. Just help me, help me make it happen. Okay, now what happens? Sample acquired. Now what? Oh God, that's pretty cool. That's pretty neat, eh? So, redundant. Okay, I think this is, oh look, I'm at full health. Oh, cool. Huh. I wonder if I died, if I will, like, respawn there. I'm not going to risk it. Now that we're at full health, we're totally going to go ahead and save this baby. And we're going to continue with our exploration here. So, there's nothing in here. Okay. Can we go, can we go up here? Is there anything, anything worth exploring in these body bags here? Ah, there we go. Anything? Hypo spray? I'll take it. Okay. Uh, well... Let's uh, let's go out of here. I am so sorry this happened to you, buddy. Oh my god, your face is terrifying. That is horrible. Man, okay. W what happened last time we went to the medical thing? Somebody snuck up on me and killed me while I was trying to play a space video game. So no space video games this time. Let's go ahead and find this dude who was lurking around here. Where was he? Where was he? Where was he? What's this? Anti-radiation? Take that. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, stop that. You stop that. You stop that. Oh, oh man. Oh! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> did you hear that guy yell, join us? Yo, it did respawn us. Okay. The thing is, though, that was a sloppy death. And I would rather just reload so I still have that save point. Okay. That is a really cool idea for a save point, a quantum reconstruction of your body. Man, this game this game is really neat. It's got a lot of a lot, a lot of really interesting concepts going on here. How did I never play this game? Damn, the 
you guys ever find there's like some games or, like you've heard of when you were a kid but you don't you never like really played or whatever and like when you finally do sit down to actually play the game you're like how have i never played this before it is exactly the type of game that i would like this is basically what we're experiencing here okay these guys are actually not a big deal when if they if they don't get the drop on you they're actually like they go down like nothing oh god but but they're getting the drop on me there's a whole bunch of them we're gonna keep on brutalizing them oh, god. Okay, we're gonna try one more time to load this. If I gotta, if I gotta lose a life to kill them all, that's a fair trade. Okay, the trick is to like not try and loot their bodies till you're sure they're all dead. Till you're sure that they're all dead. And I am gonna try and play that pig game. I, I, I totally want to try that. Okay, we got this. We got this. Okay, I need to find like a recharger. I think I'm getting killed. <laughs> I killed like four of them last time. Okay, one, one more shot here. One more shot here. We gotta try and like get him into a choke point here. Let's be smart about this. It's funny because like I, I chose. Oh, wait, I actually chose. The hacker? Maybe I chose the psychic guy. I don't know. Now I'm, I'm second guessing it. I thought I was the hacker. But I have no ability to hack, so I just realizing I did not pick the hacker. I, I think I picked the psychic one. Um, oh god. But if I if I had chosen the soldier, like there's no guns to use. The soldier's whole like MO is that he's good with guns. Oh damn, I'm down. Okay, forget it. We're just gonna we're just gonna suck it up and lose a life here. And we're gonna go and brutalize those guys. That first time though, we, we did so good. We killed like, there's like one guy left. And if we hadn't started to loot a body, we would have been fine. Okay. We have we have literally killed a whole gang of dudes here. And there's more. There's more coming. Oh, and they killed us again. What? They're not coming this time. They're not coming. Get the drop on these dudes. Ow. Alright, we beat a couple of them to death. See if we can, like, use some of these. We don't have any chips or anything. We lost them when we died, maybe? More of these things. Okay, can we go in here? Oh, wait, we came from here. Okay, so I don't know what happened that last time. I, I just went over there again and uh, picked up the stuff that I needed and I didn't get swarmed by a whole gang of these guys. So something different happened. I'm, I'm trying to save frequently to make sure that I'm okay. Let's just go ahead and see if we can give this thing a try. How do, how do we use this thing? MDF game player. Okay. Can we put this in? Wait. Swine keeper. Yes. Oh man, look! You you can play you can play Minekeeper. Or Minesweeper. I'm sorry. Ha, ah, that's so cool. Swinekeeper. Wow. That that's really neat. This that kinda reminds me of like uh, in the old Commander Keen games, you could play Pong within Commander Keen. It's so neat to have like a game within a game. I know it's like really simple and like who would spend their time playing like uh, playing Swinekeeper in this. But it's kinda cool that it's there. Kind of neat that it's there. It really shows like the level of detail that the developers went to. Oh god, what the hell is that? That is not. That's not a good looking selfie, sir. Kind of looks. It, it kind of. It speaks to the level of detail that the uh, that the developers of this game really put into their game. Oh my god! Do you hear that weird creepy whispering? Xerxes. I think he is the AI running this station, and AIs generally are not good guys in sci-fi. Bottle of wine, a bottle of vodka. You know what? I could use it. I think my guy has had a very stressful day. And a gun, finally. Let's not waste any time. We're totally equipping that. Uh, oh, are you kidding me? I don't have enough gun. Oh my god. Okay, I totally am a psychic dude. I picked the wrong class. 
I am totally a psychic, and uh, it's not really helping me out right now. This place is falling apart. I guess I could use this. Disappearing. Release the venting shaft. I got called up around. Oh wait, what are my abilities here? Increase your cyber by two. Launches heat draining projectile at targets. Hmm. I mean that seems kind of useful. Maybe I'll have that going on so that uh, if these guys try and attack me, I don't have to take melee damage from them. Oh god, with the security cameras. And I, I'm kind of getting lost in here actually. Attention. You can hack security computers to power. Does this do anything? No. Oh god. Oh. Oh god. Oh. Okay. Get away. Get away. Oh yeah, we just we killed him. Yeah. Go away. Go away. Oh god. Is there a guy behind me? There was a guy behind me, wasn't there? <laughs> oh man, this is this is harder than you would think. Okay, I'm not I'm not gonna take that death line down though. I'm grief saving, guys. I'm grief saving. Um, this game is actually known for being very very hard. By the way, you may be looking at this being like Jay, Jay, you suck. And you wouldn't be wrong. But let me just say that this game is known for being very challenging. I think in Bioshock Infinite there was a 1999 mode. Uh, in reference to like a 1999 difficulty mode. And you know why it's called the 1999 mode? Because System Shock 2 here was released in 1999 and it was brutally difficult. So the whole 1999 thing is kind of like an Easter eggy type reference to this game. Where did those two guys who, who attacked me from behind come from? Because I was looking over there, I didn't see them. And all of a sudden now they're here. Okay, let's kill them without dying. Kill them without dying. Okay. Security alert terminated. Is there anyone around? Okay, I'm just gonna try and like peek at what they were carrying. Nothing. And crap. A whole lot of nothing. Uh, where's that storage room that we found that one time? Because I feel like that is what I really want to get. You can transfer I want to get like a whole bunch of supplies. Each deck has a chemical storeroom where you can find the resources you need to research. Oh, we got another gun. Another gun. Too bad I can't use it. Okay, what's this say? Laboratory stock room, blah, blah, blah. Chemicals, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Well, what's it? Bullets. Okay. So actually, there isn't anything in here that's of use to me. I, w I wish my guy could use a gun. Like, he, he doesn't even understand the concept of, like, holding a gun. He's like, what is gun? Oh, there's a dude. Oh! <laughs> Wow, I had the drop on him and he literally murdered me. I don't know, what do you think? Should I just keep going? Should I keep going? No, I'm gonna load. I'm gonna load. There's no point in, in suffering that stupid death. Okay. Where do those guys come from? Oh, they're just freaking teleporting in! That's why sometimes there's more or less of them. Okay, they, they'll probably just teleport in indefinitely then. Ooh, what are those? Colas. I will take those and I will get the hell out of here. So they are like endlessly spawning then. Okay. I thought I could like clear out this area if I killed enough of them, but I guess that I cannot. Let's go down this way. We haven't gotten this way yet. Let's see what we got going on. What, what is this? A, I picked up a plant. A potted plant. Oh man. Oh, he didn't see me. He didn't see me. Let's just let him go. Go in peace. What the hell is that? Holy shit, he's got like a little zombie baby with him. Uh, oh man, what do you do in this situation when you find yourself awkwardly trapped in a room with a zombie and a zombie baby? I'm gonna walk around them real quiet like, please don't notice me. Please don't notice me. Okay. Anything? Nope. Is there any reason to be in here? Oh god, they're gonna kill me, aren't they? Oh god, they're coming for me. I know it. I know it. I'm dead. I'm dead. What is this? A size spray. Uh, oh my god. Dead power cell. I need to charge this power cell and get the hell out of here. Holy crap. What the hell? The thing is like laughing. Oh god. Get over here. Oh my god. There's got to be a way out of here. Oh man. I think it's a monkey actually. I think those are monkey noises. I don't even know where I am. What kind of room is this? This is like the most terrifying closet ever invented. Oh god, I'm gonna have to find my way out, aren't I? A broken door. Just my luck. Oh god, here it comes! 
I knew it, it, I knew it would come to this. Where's your evil monkey? Where's your evil monkey? Oh, it's, it's dancing. It's dancing. It, it's brain is exposed. The monkey killed me. The monkey got me. Evil, evil zombie monkey got me. All right, let's just go with it. Let's just, instead of, instead of constantly reloading. Oh God. I was gonna say like, let's see how far we can get on this second life. <laughs> Turns out not very far. Man. Oh, but it will constantly respawn us there? Is that the idea? Because if so, that's actually pretty awesome. It's like if we get into trouble, we just spawn there. Oh, so I didn't have to be reloading all this time. Wow, that makes this game a hell of a lot easier. Can I eat these? Oh wow, they restore one health. I think I lose seven when I get hit, so I drank those for no reason, and they're definitely not going to save me in any way. Well, there you go. Now, if you were caught on a terrifying, futuristic spaceship that was infected by alien parasites, what would your escape plan be? I know people have, like, zombie escape plans. Oh, it's the damn monkey again! What the hell? Is the monkey psychic? I got shot by something there. Ten nanites used in reconstruction. Oh, every time it revives me, it uses some of my nanites. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's a fair, that's a fair system. It's a fair system. Um, you know, like, people have zombie survival plans, but... Oh, you freaking damn monkey! The, it's funny how the monkey is tougher than, uh, than the actual humans. Anyway, people have zombie survival plans. What about space horror survival plans? You don't hear a lot about those. There's totally a guy right there. And you may say that, oh yeah, but it's just because, like, nobody's gonna get caught in, like, a space horror. But, like, a zombie thing could actually happen, like, could in quotes. It's like, yeah, a, a zombie scenario is just about as unlikely as a space horror survival scenario, I gotta say. Like, when you really think about it. Like, which is really more unrealistic here? They're both complete fantasies. Oh, shoot, there's a guy right there, isn't there? God damn it. Man, this game is tough. Can we go in here... And can we change the option, the difficulty? I thought I could play this on uh, normal. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm having a hell of a time. A hell of a time. So we're gonna have to tone it down a little bit. Come here, you dick. He still got me. He's probably still gonna kill me. But at least he goes down a little easier, I guess. I don't know, it didn't feel like that really made a big difference. I don't know what easy does. Hopefully it's less enemies and the enemies are easier to kill. Okay. Got a gun. Oh, come here. Oh, I think I hit him in the groin. Down you go. Wish I could research you to figure out how to kill you faster. Hey, there's stuff in here. Buy some hypo sprays. Because, uh, because guess what? I can. Are you kidding me? They heal like seven. Oh, it's, it's still going up. I was going to say the hypo spray heals two hit points. Give me a break. They're slowly climbing. Actually, that's kind of a cool mechanic too. The idea that like when you use a health unit, it gradually heals you. It can prevent people from like just spamming like health units to like uh, survive in dangerous situations. Because like you actually have to recover a little bit. So you can't just get down to one hit point and then use a bunch of stim packs. Oh God. To like get back up to full. Oh, you stinking monkey. I am gonna kill you. I am gonna kill you. Gonna kill you, you freaking idiot! Oh my god. I think I just got this monkey brain, an unresearched object. Yeah, it's a monkey brain. I'm walking around with a space monkey brain. What's it to you? What's it to you, buddy? Give me your nanites. It's half a life for me, and the way I'm going through lives, I need it. I'm going through like crazy. Did I come in here? I think I've been in here. This might be where we encounter the space monkey to begin with. Okay over here. I will be honest, I have no idea where to go. Oh, they killed me again. Version 1 of research software was upgraded. I have a feeling that's a place I want to be. Maybe I can actually start researching these dudes. Um, where are we over here? Wait. No, wait. This is not where I want to be. Wrong way. You ever find yourself in a uh, terrifying uh, space horror scenario? Just you just just making wrong turns left, right, and center. Get lost. So embarrassing. So embarrassing. Come here, Space Hicks. I'm calling you guys Space Hicks from now on, because you kind of look like Space Hicks. And, uh, and also, you're stupid. 
so there. Take that. Insult your sensibilities, your pride. Is there anywhere we can go in here? Yes, we can. I am hoping for a research center. I will settle for anything that gives me infinite health. Oh no. Oh, god damn it. I'm literally just going down every other every other uh, life here. Okay, you know what? We're switching to psychic combat. It wasn't like incredibly successful, but we have stop alarm. How is stop alarm a psychic power? I, I mean, I guess it is. I don't even know what the point of the alarms is. Maybe I'm being stupid about this. Maybe the alarms summon more bad guys and I should have destroyed these alarms. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Oh man, we got lucky there. Go down. Die already. Take this. Here we go. We got some monkey psychicness coming your way. Boom. Yeah, you are a corpse now, buddy. All right, what else we got going on in here? Maybe I should have been doing this the whole time. Just feels weird. I feel like I should have a gun. I don't know. I have like a very doom mentality about this. I feel like I need a gun. That's how I should be playing this game. Oh, come on. There's a thing right there. There we go. <laughs> I don't know if this is psychic powers as much as it is like an orb that shoots like energy. It's like an energy orb. I haven't seen psychics in real life in a long time, but I'm pretty sure they don't have these abilities. Imagine you went to see a psychic and like, they also, they read your fortune and then they also like blew up a chair using like their mind. Like that would be scary. Ooh, oh no wait, that's a, that's a vending machine. Oh, here we go. Guess what, buddy, you're gonna get it. Boom. Boom. That's what you get. For guarding the supplies like a dick. What, is there anyone in here? Hello? Hello? No. What do we got? Nanites. This game really does feel like Bioshock. Like I'm getting a real Bioshock feel to it. And actually, I enjoy Bioshock. You know what? It's weird. I never played Bioshock back when it was out originally. Uh, what happened? I climbed up there. But I did play it subsequently and I enjoyed it. I didn't find it like as amazing as everyone made it out to be. But I enjoyed it, and I feel like this one, though, I actually enjoy a little bit more. And I don't know why. Maybe I'm just a bigger fan of, like, the space cyberpunk theme. But, yeah, I don't know. This one just seems a little cooler to me. What's kind of interesting is for a long time, I just assumed for some reason that this game was, like, Marathon. I got, like, Marathon and System Shock all, like, bungled up in my head. And for some reason, I thought this was just like Marathon, like a pretty standard space shooter. And it turns out it definitely is not. I really wish I'd played this back in my youth. Although, as I say that, I'm like totally lost now. Ooh, okay. Wait, have we been in here yet? Nuts. Maybe we have. I, I forget. There's been so many deaths and lives. I can't remember where we've been and where we haven't been. Well, we haven't done that in this life yet, or this. Uh, blah, 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 auxiliary. They don't have a key code. I'm not super interested. Oh, wait. Okay, hold on. Die. Die. Damn it. I didn't have time to disable the alarm. Okay, so the alarm totally does summon these guys. Oh, God. Die, 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 die. Enough, enough with you hitting me in the face with crap. Let's let's totally take a second and go ahead and use these hypo sprays here. Let, let's be smart. Oh god, and we're we're gonna we're totally gonna die here. Run, 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 run. Holy crap. Can't believe that worked. Man, we're actually surviving. This is not bode well. As soon as you start doing well at a game like this, I, I feel like the game amps up the difficulty. Just to punish you. Okay, I do not have a card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, t I oh, oh, and I'm out of psychic powers. I'm out of psychic juice. Oh God, out of psychic juice. Run, run, run. Ah, ah! Help me, help me. Oh, what is this? What is this? It's an auto turret, but it's shooting at me. You no, know, shoot at him, you idiot. Why, why would you shoot at me? Oh God, oh God. Ah, ah! I, I can't even like pause to switch weapons. 
Okay, that didn't go too well, guys. Did not go too well. Oh my god, thank god for this, like, eternal spawn point. It looks so cool, though. It looks so cool. Well, I have a feeling that, like, I'm kind of... I've, I've kind of, uh... System shocked myself out. I mean, I could probably keep going here and figure out where to go, but I feel like I'm kind of, I've kind of explored most of this area, and I'm not really seeing where to go, and I would probably have to stop talking and start really paying attention to what I'm doing. Uh, but we've already been playing this for quite a bit. So, in fact, I'm, I think I'm going to start wrapping up my thoughts about System Shock 2 here, because I feel like I've played enough of it that I have a good idea of, you know, a, a good first impression, at least, of what this game is like. So I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping up here. So first of all, what did we learn here today when we played System Shock 2 here, guys? Well, I think we learned that when you wake up on a, on a weird space station infested with alien parasites, that you, you better hope you're lucky enough to have some mysterious stranger just whispering sweet nothings into you, telling you where to go. Also, if you're going to loot a body, make sure that none of his pals are just hanging around. Oh, God. Look at her, she just died in agony. If you're gonna loot a body, make sure that you take a second to make sure that none of none of the other evil infested space zombie dudes are hanging around or you will suffer for it. Uh, I think we've also learned that uh, you know being being a space parasite's meal is not gonna be a fun party in the end. You are not gonna have a fun time with it. Um, and yeah. Uh, I, I think, personally, I would rather be a sort of traditional... Oh, this is new. Be a traditional zombie than one of these space zombies. Because at least with a traditional zombie, like, I'm, pra I'm I'm dead. I'm essentially dead. My personality, my memories, nothing is there. If I was one of these space guys where I could still, like, talk to you, but I was not in control of my body or my actions at all, that'd be a little more terrifying. Because I feel like I would lose who I was, even though I was still kind of going. So, yeah, I'd rather I'd rather be, like, a real zombie man check out the real way um what what happened did i just did i just trap myself did i just jump in here and uh oh good going jay oh wait can i get out can i get out yes i can oh okay well interesting um pros and cons of this game pros are it is a very detailed rich interesting cool looking cyberpunk futuristic space survival horror game first person shooter action game I, I really love the concept of this game. I love the art style. I love the atmosphere. Um, so far, the enemies are a little, I don't wanna say boring, but just like, these are obviously the earliest enemies and they're a little, they've gotten a little stale. Um, I, w I do wish things like guns and stuff showed up a lot faster. Um, I appreciate, you know, why they didn't go it that way they wanted you to feel pretty vulnerable but like honestly since i have an infinite spawn back there i don't really feel that nervous anymore um and since i can save my game it would be cooler if it was like a, some kind of permadeath system and they like balanced it a little more i don't know that's just sort of you know maybe my modern sensibilities I'm like where am i supposed to go here by the way i'm still trying to look as i talk but i cannot figure it out um yeah and like i don't know th there's not there's not really huge cons that stand out to me, honestly. Like, especially for its time, the graphics look amazing. They look amazing. What's really interesting is that this game, they stopped supporting it in the year 2000. And uh, it, it had such a strong fan uh, dedication to it that there were fans developing mods and, and compatibility patches and stuff for it for like a decade after that. And this game was kind of like an elite, uh, a legal limbo for a long time, where like EA owned some of the rights, but other rights were owned by, uh, not EA, by an insurance company. Basically because the original company that developed this game went out of business. And join us. So the, the, uh, the fact that the rights were kind of in limbo meant that the game wasn't formally re-released for a long time. It was one of the most requested games to be re-released on good old games, and it finally eventually was, but like... You know, it was a long, hard process, basically. So, yeah, I don't know. This game has a dedicated following. I can totally see why. I would be curious to keep going with this game, but we got to end it sometime, guys. And uh, all in all, you know, is this a game you should play before you die? I would say that this is like a definitely. Like this game, oh God, they're all just waiting to kill me. I think that's a good sign that I'm never going to get out of this room and we should just call it. But yeah, this is definitely a game that is really neat, really fun would be really cool to actually sit down and play through and i think this is a game that if you're interested at all in these types of games you should give it a try before you die oh god 
Uh, so now, even if we respawn, I think we're done. <laughs> so there's really no way to keep playing at this point. Yeah, this is how you know you pissed them off. Anyway, guys, um, hope you've enjoyed watching me play through some System Shock 2 here. If you have, give me a like, give me a subscribe. And until next time, I'll just be being beaten to death in the corner of this evil medical lab by these three infested zombie dudes. <laughs> So until we meet again, my friends, take care of yourselves, and peace. I can't even get a single swing in. Not a single swing. How are we supposed to get out of this? I guess maybe not. That's fine.